What's going on, everybody? It is I, the Loaf King. Welcome back to the Lunchbox. Today, I will be reacting to um, the Sonic Frontiers overview um, trailer that just um, recently dropped. Uh, I did not watch it yet, but I saw a slight glimpse of it um, on Instagram, and then that's how I'm here right now. Um, I got my Sonic shirt on still. This is a that's a brand new one, but that's not really relevant. Um, I want to also um go ahead and say that I haven't really been saying a lot about the game, um, within the past um number of reveals since Gamescom, uh, but I do plan on talking about it here in this video. So first, we're gonna watch this um overview, react to it, and then. I'll go ahead and put my two cents on um, what we've seen overall overall so far. So without further ado, uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit play and uh, we'll get started. In Sonic's newest adventure, he's headed to the Starfall Islands in search of Chaos Emeralds with his friend, Amy and Tails, when trouble strikes, suddenly sucking their plane into a dimensional portal. Our bristly hero awakens in a strange digital world called cyberspace. Despite being separated from his friends, Sonic miraculously escapes from this alternate dimension and arrives on Kronos, one of the beautiful Starfall Islands, a hmm. curious wilderness full of ancient ruins. Okay, strange new stuff. And sinister enemies. Our loyal blue hedgehog must now find his lost friends, explore this exotic world, and solve the mystery of the Starfall Islands. Sonic not... Frontiers expands on what fans know and love about traditional Sonic oh, games. That was kind of cool. Linear level gameplay and open zone platforming into a new action-filled Sonic experience. The world map is oh. bigger than ever, giving Sonic more room to run and explore his surroundings. Sonic Frontiers offers high-speed open zone gameplay that gives you the freedom to play the game in the order that best matches your play style. Engage in exhilarating combat with exciting new enemies, solve intriguing puzzles, and complete fun side quests to help rescue Sonic's hmm. friends. Solving puzzles will reward the player with items that can increase so Sonic's there are going to be side quests. Defense. Reveal hidden parts of the map and unlock new ways to navigate the island at fast speeds. Scattered around the Starfall Islands are cyberspace portals. Defeat bosses throughout the island to earn portal gears that unlock these stages. You'll need to complete challenges within each cyberspace stage to earn vault keys that can be used to unlock Chaos Emerald vaults and allow you to progress further in the game. In Sonic Frontiers, Sonic's combat gets an upgrade, making battling enemies more exciting and fluid than ever before. I like seeing the finished skill version of that. Featuring a host of new abilities to unlock and level up. You'll have plenty of options to fight strategically Combine dodges, parries, counters, and more. If you prefer more straightforward gameplay, check out Auto Combos, where various attack combos can be executed with a single button. These modes make it possible for all Sonic fans to easily enjoy the fast and flexible new combat system. Sonic's enhancements don't stop there. He's learned a new ability called Psyloop, a band of light that mirrors Sonic's tracks. Surround enemies, items, hmm. and areas to uncover different effects and unlock all the secrets of the Starfall Islands. Get ready to blaze your own trail and forge a new frontier in Sonic Frontiers. Oh, that what was that? Available right there. November eighth. Stay tuned for more details. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so. Overview trailer was cool. Uh, I enjoyed, enjoyed it. Um, I don't know if I've already said it, but um, I've already gotten to the point where I'm just looking forward to the game straight up. Like I, I don't have any like any underlining uh, feelings of concern or whatnot for the game. Uh, I I'm just ready to play it at this point uh we've seen a lot of stuff with the game and um there's been 
some concerns about the game, namely about how um, the cyber stages are short and about um, them reusing uh, previous assets in the game. But um, I'm kind of okay with it, with the premise of this game, because for me personally, the main thing that I'm looking forward to with this game is exploring the open world aspect because honestly i feel like that's what they're truly trying to push about this game the open world um stuff in it um yes boost stages are are cool and all but like i think they're trying to get to the point where we can just have a sonic game that's strictly just the open world none of the um hand None of the holding on to of um, the boost space um, stages. I'm not really expecting to see a lot of that in the, uh, the next game. And another th thing is that this game is an experiment. They are trying something brand new for Sonic. They want to make him have a little more freedom than he has in past games. Something that I've wanted since I've seen Sonic 06. Like the first, first, very first trailer with the shoddy footage that we saw of um, Sonic running through our open world stuff and running up walls and all that stuff. I wanted to have full control over Sonic and be able to do that stuff on the fly. Um, but sadly, we know the story with that game. And honestly, I've come to the point where I realized that it's, uh, it, it's okay that they aren't really fu fully pu putting down on this. Like I'd like them to and um, forget about the boost stages because the boost stages are just gonna make people annoyed and be like, man, I wish I was playing the original stage. For example, like the city stage, I, I was looking at it. It looks cool, but on the surface, it's it doesn't really look that challenging. Like. The cars being parked on the highways. It doesn't look like if you even ran into them that they would um, hurt you. So like, I'm kind of locked in a place where we can't really, um, we can't really get that excited for it if we look back at previous boost stages. And I feel like they have to break away from that. We need it to be that the world has this stuff already incorporated into it and we are just like going through it through the um, stages the open world is supposed to be the stage now that's what they're kind of going for with this open world aspect like the the world itself is a stage and the idea is cool but it's definitely not something that they were going to be able to execute the first time through. This is literally supposed to be a change, a new era for Sonic as a whole. So I'm not expecting this game to be perfect, nor am I expecting it to be like amazing or anything. This game is not going to be game of the year. I, I, man, I will, I will kind of, I, I think I'm willing to die on that hill. I highly doubt this game is going to be game of the year worthy because there are issues in this game and i don't see them being fixed by the time that this game comes out but with what i am seeing i do believe that this will be a fun game i do feel like it will be a fun game but i do feel like it'll be better than forces in terms of just being in general an enjoyable game like don't, don't get me wrong forces was okay for what it was but it it definitely oof, it had some issues that i honestly don't feel i'm really seeing here at least in terms of the main gameplay which is exploring the open world and the combat i've been wanting i've said this already in one last video i've been wanting sonic to do more action based combat for a while now just strictly off the fact that in the comics, you literally see him doing all this stuff. In animations, you literally see him doing a lot of wild moves. 
I like that they increased the amount of actions that Sonic can do in this game. He has some crazy moves he can do also in the comics too. I'll leave that be. Um, <clears throat> when I saw that Sonic got um, Sonic Wind, I figured that was something that he was going to be able to use like in future games. Right after I saw it in Sonic Adventure um, 2. Um, I figured that they kind of like was holding off, but like when we got like heroes, we didn't really get anything like that. So I, to sum up, because I don't really want to make this video too long. Um, this game, I truly believe will be enjoyable. I think people need to come into this game not expecting uh, to get a another boost game out of the cyber stages because the cyber stages are really just side stuff they're really meant if you know what it is the cyber stages are like basically a fun head nod that's that's really what it is i think in the interview azuka actually even said that himself they're meant to just be there to be like oh yeah i remember what i know what this stage is based off of it's based off of this okay that's pretty cool yes it would be cool if we could actually have a stage that was original and I think I remember seeing in an interview that Zuka said that there will be some stages that are original, but the majority of the stages, they're going to be based off of old stages and like just remapped and um, probably like taking piece, a piece of one stage and another piece of another stage and putting it into the same stage. Like I, I won't be surprised if we see something like that or if we already have seen it. People have been um, investigating to see what games um, some of these um cyber stages are based off of. but i'm honestly look just looking forward to exploring this world like shoot even seeing that that trailer in um in 4k running at um a full 60 frames it looks good man it looks good it looks fun and i think this will definitely be the best that sonic's ever controlled in a game ever we might still have camera problems. I mean, that, that's almost a staple in a Sonic game due to how fast he be. But like, in terms of how he, he feels, how he turns, all that stuff, I think it'll be pretty good. And I think that if they apply this for the next game and they don't just break off of this, I, I'm really hoping they don't. I hope that this is like gonna be a style that they like continue to grow and improve um as the series goes on <clears throat> i think that um i think it'd be a good chance to make sonic really really fun and great again for a lot of people and while we have to deal with the basis of the issues that we will run into with this game i'm actually okay again i don't see this being a game of the year contender like the um like uh sega wants it to be they're gonna have to work harder for um it to be at that point but i can definitely see a possibility of that happening if they keep this up for a future Sonic game because obviously we're not going to see another um, game of this style in uh, the next year. They're obviously going to have to work on it for a while and I want them to work on it for a while to add things that I'm going to want to have in the next like huge Sonic game because I think the next game we're going to get is most likely going to be like a 2D game and that's all fine and well but if there's one thing that i can ask sega please keep the 2d out of our 3d focused sonic games please like it's okay to throw it in as an easter egg like that that's another thing i was tr trying to get at i know i'm dragging this on now at this point but that's another thing i was trying to get at if you want to make it where you have like some boost stages like sprinkled in the game make it very few and like 
heck, make it the special stages. Do that. Make them like special stages or like with Mario Odyssey, where they had like little sections where you went into like a little um, pipe or whatever, and then they give you like a little 2D section to run through. Do something kind of similar to that, but don't make it like a huge point of the game. They, this They're not tr really trying to make it a huge point of the game in this, but because of how it's one of the things that you can do to earn um, stuff, people are paying attention to it more rather than um, the other ways that you can um, earn stuff. And it, it even in this overview trailer, I'm pretty sure they said that it was optional yet again. But obviously, if you don't do it, then you're probably going to end up having to trudge through a lot of more other options to do so. So that's all I'm saying. Just don't make the 2D sections as relevant or necessary in these um, big 3D Sonic games. That's all. Uh, and I think that you have something really good here. The photorealistic thing never really bothered me. I think that the game looks beautiful. Probably the most beautiful out of all past um, Sonic games um, that has come out. Yes, that includes Unleash. I like Unleash as well. And I like Generations. But like in terms of the beauty, um, th this thing is off the charts. This is really up there. So... I don't really need to personally make any more videos about this game. I'm kind of past the point where um, I need to see more. I, I, I'm already sold on it. I'm, I'm, what, from what I've seen of the open world, I'm sold on it and I don't really want to be spoiled on much else. Um, we have two months before the game comes out. Uh, it was already confirmed for November, I think, 6th or 7th. Uh, and that's all I, I don't I don't want to see any more and spoil what I can experience that's the one thing about these open world games you don't want to show too much like this is honestly a pretty good amount to me I know though we might end up seeing all the um, Starfall Islands that we've been confirmed on the fact that there's five of them but yeah like when it comes to open world game, you want to leave like a good amount of stuff out there for people to discover and see for themselves, especially the very cool parts. Don't go and reveal all the cool parts, man. Like save them for uh, people to discover and be like, whoa, that was actually dope. I'm glad I didn't know about this beforehand. Like that's that's the stuff I want to experience. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, I'm not even worried about story. I think story is going to be very interesting, even compared to past Sonic games. Um, I know that was something that I was like kind of banking on for um, Front Forces, but um, I was sadly disappointed on that. But um, I really believe that it's possible for this one for Info. Yeah, that's it. I did not mean to make this video that long. I apologize for that. You see, my background's a little bit dirty. I've had um, this. You you know what it is. I've had it for um, about a week and a half, and I've just been trying to adjust. I've been holding back a cough this whole time, and I'm ready to just go ahead and um, make myself some dinner. So, uh, again, Sonic Frontiers, looking forward to it. Hope that uh, we. I hope that um, it really surprises me um, when I actually fully play it. Uh, I'll probably do some reactions to the game, but otherwise, I'm not really gonna talk more about it. Unless some, unless something really huge comes up, like extremely huge, I don't plan on talking a lot about it. Otherwise, but um, you know, when Frontiers comes out trust that i will be recording it. that i can promise and i will be streaming it so we'll get the but we'll get the best of both worlds <laughs> um and for those that um 
have like one last thing for those that have like feelings towards the people that are being negative about it you have to understand these people have a play style that they've enjoyed for so long if they're seeing stuff especially for like the cyber stages that they're not liking they have the right to not like it it is what it is you don't you shouldn't let that bug you no matter what generation that you've started playing sonic at you have to understand everybody has a sonic that they're used to and that they're accustomed to and the difficulty aspect of some of these games has definitely risen and dropped in multiple type of ways but you know most of these people are actually gonna buy the game anyway and let them have their opinion on that game because in the end it's not their opinion that matters it's yours enjoy the game for what you like it for don't let it ruin yours all right i'm done uh that's gonna be it this is the loaf king the lunchbox if you didn't know uh you should go ahead and hit that like button to subscribe and never forget to always stay lunch catch y'all later peace oh and feel free to leave a comment i'd like to discuss about the game a bit too with you. of course in a professional way please <laughs> i'd rather not a huge debate in chat or at least not a professional all right peace